Thor is a 2011 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. Produced by Marvel Studios and distributed by Paramount Pictures, it is the fourth film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was directed by Kenneth Branagh, written by the writing team of Ashley Edward Miller, Zach Stentz, along with Don Payne and stars Chris Hemsworth as the title character, alongside Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, Stellan Skarsgård, Tom Fury, Ray Stevenson, Idris Elba, Kate Dennings, Rene Russo and Anthony Hopkins. After reigniting a dormant war, Thor is banished from Asgard to Earth, stripped of his powers and his hammer, Mjolnir. As his brother Loki, played by Hiddleston, plots to take over the Asgardian throne, Thor must prove himself worthy. Sam Raimi first developed the concept of the film adaptation based on the Thor in 1991, but soon abandoned the project, leaving it in development hell for several years. During this time, the rights were picked up by various film studios and until Marvel signed Mark Protovicevich to develop the project in 2006 and planned to finance and release it through Paramount. Matthew Vaughan was assigned to direct the film for the tentative 2010 release. However, after Vaughan was released from his holding deal in 2008, Brennan was approached and the film's release was rescheduled to 2011. The main characters were cast in 2009 and principal photography took place in California and New Mexico from January to May 2010. The film was converted to 3D in post-production. Thor premiered in Sydney on April 17, 2011 and was released in the United States on May 6 as part of Phase 1 of the MCU. It received generally positive reviews from critics and was a financial success, earning $449.3 million worldwide. Three sequels have been released since then, Thor Dark World in 2013, Thor Ragnarok in 2017 and Thor Love and Thunder in 2022. The cast includes Chris Hemsworth as Thor, the crown prince of Asgard based on the Norse mythological deity of the same name. Director Kenneth Branagh and Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige chose Hemsworth after a back and forth process in which at the time the 25 year old actor was initially dropped from consideration and then given a second chance to read for the part. Hemsworth stated that he gained 9 kilograms for the role by eating non-stop and revealed it wasn't until Thor that I started lifting weights, it was all pretty new to me. Natalie Portman as Jane Foster, a scientist in Thor's love interest. Marvel Studios stated in an announcement that the character was updated from the comic's initial portrayal of the feature adaptation, where she is portrayed as a nurse. Portman found it a great opportunity, one, to work with Kenneth Branagh, and secondly, to act in a big-budget movie where a female lead is a scientist, and in this case, an astrophysicist. She said, It know it sounds silly, but it's little things like this that make girls think anything is possible. Tom Hiddleston as Loki, Thor's adoptive brother and nemesis based on the deity of the same name. Hiddleston was chosen after previously working with Branagh on Ivanhoe and Wallander. Initially Hiddleston auditioned to play Thor, but Branagh decided his talent would be better harnessed by playing Loki. Hiddleston stated that the character was a comic book version of Edmund in King Lear, but just nastier. Hiddleston had to keep a strict diet before the start of filming because Branagh wanted Loki to have a lean and hungry look like Cassius in Julius Caesar. Stellan Skarsgård as Eric Selvig, a scientist doing research in New Mexico who encounters Thor. Calm Fury as Lofi, the king of the frost giants and Loki's biological father based on the mythological being of the same name, who in myth was actually Loki's mother. Fury explained it took over five hours a day for his makeup to be applied. Idris Elba as Hemdel, the all-seeing, all-hearing Asgardian sentry of the Bifrost Bridge based on the mythological deity of the same name. Kate Dennings as Darcy Lewis, a political science major who is Jane Foster's intern. Rene Russo as Frigga, the wife of Odin, queen of Asgard, mother of Thor, and adoptive mother of Loki, based on the mythological deity of the same name. And Anthony Hopkins as Odin, the ruler of Asgard, father of Thor, and adoptive father of Loki, based on the mythological deity of the same name. In an interview, Hopkins stated that he knew nothing of the comic, but he found the film interesting because it's a superhero movie, but done with a bit of Shakespeare thrown into it. Hopkins stated that he was interested in the relationship between fathers and sons, as that his own father had been very cold towards him during his upbringing. Mel Gibson later stated that he had been approached for the role, but chose not to take it. Now Thor is a dazzling movie that moderates its broad scope with some wit, humour and human drama intertwined into a massive big-budget CGI filled blockbuster, where you really have to delve into the world of pure, unadulterated fantasy. And Marvel really doesn't hold back in this one, as it introduces another one of its famed characters to the MCU universe, as it were. Now, this was an interesting introduction to the character of Thor. And don't get me wrong, Chris Hemsworth is perfectly cast in the role. It's just that the way the role has been written. Here we have a character that is very needy, entitled, and well, frankly, a bit of a brat. And he lacks that wit and guile that makes him just so fantastic later on in Thor Ragnarok in 2017. That wasn't there quite yet in this character. It's still as if they were trying to understand who Thor was within the MCU universe. 
Here he is a much more one-dimensional, bland, dull superhero, but very easy on the eye. As I said, it's Hemsworth's own natural charm that comes through in bits and pieces. It really sort of makes the character of Thor work, fundamentally. But it's nowhere near the heights that they would later on reach when he was given free reign to play the role to the best of his ability. The chemistry between Portman and Hemsworth is just frankly awkward, and for me it has never really worked. I never really understood why they cast Portman in this role. It's kind of a waste of her ability. The idea of a family conflict is an interesting one, and obviously the cast are more than fantastic to pull this off, from Anthony Hopkins playing Odin to Idris Elba playing Hemdal, but I feel one of the standouts for me has to be Tom Hiddleston as Loki. You can see he really revels in the role and has a lot of enjoyment playing this, and he even said that he was inspired by Peter O'Toole's performances in The Lion in Winter and Lawrence of Arabia. Now I think Kenneth Branagh is a fantastic director, but this is not a movie that suits him. He isn't a big budget grandiose sort of director, he's rather a story driven character type of a film administrator, and he really doesn't capture the essence of the superhero style in order to make this film really stand out. In saying all of this though, this is a very easy on the eye movie, and it doesn't really offend you in any way. It's just not fantastic, but that doesn't mean that it's not enjoyable and entertaining. Really what it's about this movie is an introduction to the Thor character and a moving along the MCU timeline so that you could obviously have the big ultimate superhero tie-up when of course the Avengers movie would be released some years later. The CGI is good, the story and the actors do a fine job with what they're given and at the end of the day this is just another addition to the MCU timeline to move it further along. Thor gets 7 out of 10. <laughs>